<laughs> yeah, I know. All right, everybody, we are doing Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Um, we decided not to go in order because at this point, if you haven't seen any of the Star Wars movies, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> there will be spoilers. So um, I've seen this movie many times. I don't hate it as much as I hate the other ones, but I know it Marie is my least favorite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why we started with this one. So uh, it says I can't connect to the groups on this, so I will grab my phone and do it through that. No worries. So, all right. I commented on the video what we're watching. No one's going to read it, but I tried. I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is always the case, but hey. It says in the title what we're watching. I always put down in the title what we're watching, but what are you going to do? So, like I said, I'm just going to pull it up on this so I can read the comments if people post and people do post. It would yep. help if I actually hit the right button, though. No, I don't hit it in the right button. It makes it more interesting when you hit wrong buttons. There we go. Yeah, I know it does, but unfortunately, uh, that just makes everything weird. So, that's true. All right. So again, we are watching um, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Like I said, I don't hate this movie. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't call it a good movie because there are a lot of flaws, and we will go into its flaws. Uh, you hate this movie. I do. They ask why. Oh, what, we'll get what, there. What we'll get there. Okay, fine. Um, now I do want to point out before we get into it, I am going to be saying some things about how. You know, during production, this, that, and the other thing. Oh yeah. I cannot actually confirm or deny that any of this happened. I'm going to be saying it is saying it as if it did happen, because I trust the people I've heard. But most of the stuff I hear is from second, if not third hand sources. So is it's this not the one where Lucas decided to like try to merge different takes because he liked the acting of one actor and one and the acting of another and the other and so it gets really weird distortions there are a couple yeah there are a couple scenes of that um but yeah they did try to do that a few times um but like i said a lot i'm gonna be saying a lot about okay the production this that and the other thing like i said i'm gonna be saying it but i can't confirm it's true i wasn't on set when it happened i didn't see it and like I said, I don't get it from anybody who was actually there. I get it from like I was gonna a friend say, or a friend. I learned thing. about some of this stuff from Reddit, and I can't remember the sources they used. Yeah. So yeah, like so, I said, we're gonna be talking about that, obviously. And like, I, but like we said, what we're hearing is second, if not third hand information. So like I said, it's not directly from the source. It's from a friend of the source or a friend of the friend of the source. So keep that in mind as we do as we talk about this. But like I said, from everything I've heard, the production on this was hell. So, all right, let's get into it. Oh, by the way, we did get our Google Plus thing to watch the work. So yay, we don't have to actually, uh, you know, uh, time it. Thank God. So we can just play it today. And oh, by the way, if you want to watch along, it's we're at the uh, Twenty Century Hospital, and the film just popped up. So if you want to join us, feel free to pick it up like that. I can lower the TV because I don't have the viewing privilege. Yeah, you're fine. A long time ago, got too far, far away. And I do want to say this: I've seen the Star Wars movies, all of them in theaters. Well, in, because, well, I mean, the originals have been re-released in theaters like 13,000 times. So I've seen them all in theaters. There is nothing more awesome than having that music pound in your... Well, that's like, true. Yeah. I, oh, actually, the first Star Wars I saw in theaters was episode two. I And um episode three, I actually saw the midnight showing of on a school night. I had a big <laughs> parents let me see the midnight showing because it was a school night and I had my calc final the next day. <laughs> but I do want to point this out. It says war. That's the only time in the original war? six that we ever see an exclamation point. So that's I do fair. love that. And that mind you, that's already a rising action over the taxation of trade routes that we get in episode one, which we'll get to probably pretty quickly. Because what we're going to do, uh, I should have said this before we started, what we're going to do is we're going to do our least favorite Star Wars movies in so in the order that we hate them. So we're starting off with the worst, 
then we're gonna go to the best. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here I do gotta say, I do love this shot of just coming down and you see the ship with um with the fighters fly by and they're flying in sync. I do love this shot. This is a really good shot. So I mean, and mind you, this also sets up character for Anakin and Obi-Wan. It turns out George Lucas had actually set up character when you actually don't see the characters on screen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I also should point out, um, all this is CGI. They pretty much didn't even make a set for this movie. No, they they started so. up with episode two though. Episode two. Well, was in episode two, two yeah, it, they did start it in episode two, but there were still sets in episode two. But I in this movie, episode two was literally the first movie that was like all blue screen. More or less, yeah. But they still did go to location. They still like um when they go to uh, Anakin's old homestead. They actually went there because it was still there. They it's That's still there from set up. Yeah. So, I do remember but, reading about that, how they reused that set from the originals. Yeah. yeah. No one wanted to take me to see episode one of the Oh, oh I'm for it. I'm sorry. That's well, my parents didn't care about Star Wars, and my older sister saw it and she's like, I'm not seeing that again. You're gonna have to wait till it comes out on video. <laughs> oh. All right, and here we got the droids coming up, and I don't like how they give the droid those droid starfighters personality because they were like talking to each other. It's like uh, this is a battle. You'd think they'd be doing something instead of just chilling, but nah, they're just chilling. Yeah. Although I do gotta say, I hate the design of these starfighters that we see now. The Arc One One Seven, I think they're called. Those are like attack planes. The guns are just way too big. They're just too damn big for Ruby and Interceptor. So, and that's just me being a military nerd. That's fair. <laughs> um, I also should point out, apparently, when they were making this, they actually set up like an exact like how the battle has gone, and you know how did it get to this point? You know, so every, so there's a story to this battle. So that's so each individual starfighter has a story. They're not just background, which is insane. But also, like, seriously? You yeah. put that much effort into it? But my, apparently, yeah, if you were to, like, if you were to go through everything, you could, like, watch. What was this Starfighter doing when they when it first started? So, and here we see the missiles. I will say Hayden Christensen's acting in this one is the best of all the movies he's been in, in all the Star Wars movies he was in. But that's not I mean, saying out of much. Two Star Wars movies he was in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, his acting is definitely better in this one than <laughs> the last one with his sand yeah. monologue. <laughs> Which I think that's because in episode two, a lot of times there wasn't even a director on set. It was just the actors going, you know, do your thing. In this one, George Lucas was on set for most of it, so there actually was a guy there to say. Okay, no, I, you know, do this. And here we got the buzz droids, which, honestly, why the hell don't we see more of these? Because <laughs> they're no, expensive? I, no, I don't mean in the context of the movie. I mean in the context of, this is a war. We have an army of droids. Why the hell don't we just build millions of these suckers and stick them on a capital ship? <laughs> I feel like they, um... Probably, you'd think by now, though, they would have found a way against them, right? Like, have your ship emit, like, some kind of short burst to disable them off your... Like EMP type thing? Yeah. You'd think, but apparently not. Because apparently, because you... Because well, apparently these have been a big thing for a while, but... Although I do love that. Not helping anyone. Yeah, I agree. That was stupid of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Although what que I do question, what the hell is at the front of that wing that made his wing shield clog up like that? I have no idea. <laughs> it's like there's nothing there. There's no there. The wing is like that thick. How the what is important there that is steaming or causing a smoke? And also, they're Jedi. Use the force. 
take <laughs> them off off your ship and throw them away. The maybe there's no force in space. No, I take that back. There's clearly force in space because we've seen Jedi get ejected from their ships and use the force to come back to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although I do, I do like R two D two fighting. The, it's called. Is this in this in the special features? This is called the Battle of the Droids, <laughs> which is <laughs> just so stupid. I love it. Uh, also, in space, it wouldn't fly off like that. It, gravity would just it would just sit there. Well, yeah, no shit. Like none of these movies take like treat space as real space. Yeah. You if you're to, watching, if you're watching Star Wars for scientific accuracy, you're an idiot. So let's put it that way. <laughs> I mean, they try to get around it by saying, "Oh, this is high atmosphere," but no, come on. Yeah. High atmosphere would be like, oh, I'm on the top of Mount Everest. This is clearly, I'm on the International Space Station. Yeah. yeah. So, as I told you earlier, I just finished watching the Clone Wars TV show, and I'm pretty sure the last season, like the entire last season, obviously the last four episodes do, take mm -hmm. place the same time as this movie. So I was kind of curious to see how good of a job they did with Clone Wars into like meshing it in with this timeline, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. No, I was actually curious about that when I when I um, when I watched Clone Wars too. I never actually went through and tried to time it out myself. So well, because well, it's so, just yeah. the last season. All the other seasons take place before this movie. Yeah, all the other seasons are like yeah, years beforehand. Yeah. But yeah, like you know, like during this, Ahsoka is on Mandalore doing. God well, he doesn't. He obviously doesn't get onto Mandalore until much later in this movie. Mm -hmm. Well, you know but, what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. So. Because like here we got General Grievous. Anakin's going off to run around with the Bad Batch, like, and he calls Padme. She's clearly pregnant already. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although I do gotta say I like the idea of General Grievous, and in the comics he's written amazingly. I hate him in the Clone Wars because in the Clone Wars he's just useless. Yeah, he. They, I mean, he kind of just me, seems like an idiot in the Clone Wars TV show. Yeah. Like, yeah. well, I mean, he's an ass him, like, to him by a bunch of Jedi younglings. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I mean I've said before that I think the Clone Wars is more propaganda. Like this, like it's stuff that, like this would be, how can I, like the Clone Wars would be a TV show that in the Star Wars universe, the Star Wars characters are watching, versus what what actually happened, because a lot of it just doesn't make sense. Because if Grievous were that incompetent as he is in the Clone Wars, you wouldn't put him in charge of anything. Yeah, I I don't know. I got the feeling, at least with the first three seasons, that it was just Lucas trying to extend these movies, like, cause they're pandering towards little kids. Like you can, that's why Grievous would be an idiot. And the droids are clearly like stupid comedic factor. But like the later oh, yeah. seasons, Grievous isn't even in anymore. And they're written like so much better. So, although I do gotta say, although I like Grievous, the idea of Grievous, it's also just a big stupid idea. Cause like, you had, like, okay, everybody remembers Darth Vader because he was in all three movies. What they should have had happen is Darth Maul survives the first movie, have him fight Anakin and Obi-Wan in the second movie and just completely own them, and then this movie, when Anakin falls to the dark side, his first task should be, okay, now you have to go kill Darth Maul. That's how I would have set it up if I were directly, if I were in charge of these movies, which obviously I wasn't. I was a little kid at the time. <laughs> So, like I said, that's just how I would have set it up. This scene is, I would have cut out entirely because uh, this scene with R2-D2 and the two uh, super battle droids or whatever they're called, there's just no point for it. No, it's Although just... I do, love, I do love that. It's like, I'm the gonna, point about is to just making like a badass, and it's, it's clearly just comedy for children. That's what it is. Yeah, I guess. Because these people I mean, were literally is great for younger fans. This movie is rated PG-13, though. Oh, someone noticed my T-set. <laughs> Some what? Oh. <laughs> I don't have tea. I have juice, though. All right. And here, you guys ask, what is the point of this room? 
Because in the sh if you look at the ship, this room is up on the top of a giant spire. Why would you do that? I don't know. And here's Count Dooku, Christopher Lee. Yeah. I do love that a little bit there. We will do it. Too. It's like, we'll do it together this time. Yeah, I was about to. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I was stupid last time. <laughs> Oh, shut up, Palpatine. Yeah. Gold sword, please. I don't want to make a mess of things. I mean, Greg, Christopher Lee freaking nails his part. I mean, as always, because he's awesome. Because but... it's Christopher Lee. He's been doing this for a yeah. long time. Yeah. Although I should mention, in the... Because in this fight, they... I mean, because they split him up very quickly. If you actually... If you actually look through what actually in like the script, apparently there was like a lot, it was a lot more in depth of like Anakin's like jumping over Count Dooku to try and get on the other side. Yeah, you see, they split them up very quickly. There's, I read somewhere in one of these scenes, I thought it was the Grievous one, maybe it was this one, but the, um, what's, uh, Ewan McGregor was feeling sick that day, so they cut, they severely cut what the battle scene was supposed to be. That could be true. That could, I didn't hear he was sick. I know he was sick for a lot of this, for some of this movie, but I don't know if it was this scene in particular. Yeah, Although like I, said, I do I like... One of the battles, I couldn't remember if it was this one. Whoa, that would just take out his legs. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he has no more legs. Although, but he's I do like... Whatever they, yeah, point. What I do like is that whenever they cut to, cut to Palpatine, he's like acting like he wants the Jedi to win, but in reality, like, who's watching him to pay attention to that? So I don't. So I do like that little bit of subtle, subtle tea, I guess. But it is just kind of stupid because he's like rooting for the Jedi when he's a Sith guy. So yeah. Oh, this would hurt. And good luck getting that to work Ow. in real life, by the way. Good luck getting that to work in real life, by the way. Yeah, no way. Although, another thing that bugs me is Anakin has a scar down his eye. It's like, where did he get that? Or on my he got that in What? Dooku gave it to him. No, not that scar. It was actually given to him by Asajj Ventress in, uh, in, a, in the original Clone Wars series. I thought he had it the entire time in the Clone Wars. Uh, well, in I mean, in the original, original Clone Wars movie, in the original, original Clone Wars series, that where the episodes were like five seconds for like five minutes long. You never seen that? No, I, apparently I need to look that oh, up. Oh, I'll have to send you that because that's insane. It's probably on Disney Plus. There's just because there's like, it's just yeah. weird how it's all set up. It's not included with the Clone Wars, so I probably didn't even notice it. Yeah. No, I mean. Let me put it this way, because in the Clone Wars you watched, it's very much an anime TV. Please stop. Yeah. It's an a very much an anime TV show. In the Clone Wars I'm talking about, it's clearly a cartoon. Okay. So, so yeah, like I said, I'll send it to you afterwards. But yeah, it's that's where the that's where Grievous was originally set up. So, yeah. Palpatine trying to get Anakin yeah. to leave Obi Wan, please. Yeah. Although this scene, I know why they put this scene in here, because they tried to do a scene like this in the uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh, George Lucas just has a huge fascination of like you know those old movies where like two ships would pull up alongside each other and just blast the shit out of each other. That's what they're doing here. Is that George Lucas just loves doing that and we're just you know like what? we have the technology. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very much. And to be fair, holy shit, they did a good job on it. <laughs> Although I don't know what how, what damage they did to make the ship just go fucking and plummet now. Yeah, you why did it's like why didn't you do that automatically? You're droids. You should have faster reaction time than an organic person. You should yeah. anyway. <laughs> Wee and the 
I don't know what Magnetite is going to do about it, but hey. Ouch. It's like, why didn't the other guy say that? I have no idea. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know if they'd be close enough to the Earth to actually have gravity to be playing an effect like that, but... You know what? I'm willing to give it to them. And now Obi-Wan's like, oh shit! <laughs> he clearly... <laughs> Yep. Wee. Wee. It's like in there up here they're apparently Batman because they have just everything they need in their belts. They're Jedi. Why wouldn't they have <laughs> grappling hooks? Yeah. Although I do love how uh, Palpatine is literally hanging on to Anakin's legs and it's right? just plug right in there. That is hilarious for me. And here we got callback to episode six where Air 2D do six his thing out of the sand. So, yeah. Although this, why do they just have a sh like? Because it because it's like it doesn't cordon off the entire like space like entire hallway. It just does this little bubble around them. Right, it's isolated why? and somehow knows exactly where in the hallway they are. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I mean, like I said, because in reality, you could do this on an actual modern warship, except it would be you're in this hallway. Okay, now you're staying in that hallway. No other doors are going to open. But yeah. in this, it's just a bubble around them. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> you have a plan B? I didn't know the big battle droids were that agile. He reacted very I didn't either, but I... <laughs> Although this is another thing I dislike about Star Wars ships is that if you look at where the the command centers of the ship are, they're always out in the middle of anywhere. So it's like, oh, if you want to disable the ship, hit that. Where in reality, in modern warships, the the, the cap the control center is actually inside the ship, hard to hit. Yeah. Although this is another reason why I say the Clone Wars series is propaganda because it it's it doesn't say it, but it very much implies that Grievous and Obi-Wan have never met before. But in the Clone Wars series, they're... Right. They, they fought they like all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like, this is just not a Tuesday for them. No, it's just more minor inconsistencies. The Star Wars universe is full of them. Yeah. Oh, trust me. <laughs> we'll be getting into those as it goes. I, um, and this scene, I know... I know what the plan was, but I like to pretend that it was just Anakin going R2, and R2's like, clearly they want me to do something, so he just freaks the hell out. <laughs> I like to pretend that. <laughs> um, I, I should also, what do you think about the Magna Guard staffs here? Those purple things. What do you think about those? Why? Because I don't like the idea that lightsabers can't cut through something, and you can clearly see that the lightsabers don't cut through those. So I was curious what you thought about well, that. Well, I mean, we know it's part of lore that their lightsabers don't cut through Beskar, so maybe they're made out of Beskar. Well, there's a lot of metals that, uh, like Cortorsis, um Mandalorian armor, like certain Mandalorian. I was say, armor. At this yeah. moment, Ahsoka's trying to take over, take back Mandalore. So yeah, until yeah. now, the Emperor had control of it. It's possible they made, mm. you know, mind yeah. shit from there. Although I do love that move of like, I'm a droid. I don't need atmosphere. You do. So fuck you. Open up the window. It, it is a good move. Yeah. Yeah. Although that that took a lot longer to close than you would think it actually would. Although I don't know how he jumps down, goes down there when the atmosphere should still be sucking up like that, but whatever. Yeah, that would be kind of hard to get back in again because you're right, yeah. the air should be going out and making mm -hmm. it hard to get back in. Yeah. And um, why does this escape pod have the buttons to launch all the escape pods at once? Uh, maybe he overrode the system. Mm. Yeah. 
I mean, if he had like a data pattern, like like he had like like something like this, like pulls something like this out and did that, I'd be okay with it. But he's mostly like, destroyed and somehow hacked into the system from the escape pod he was in. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, I don't know how that would, I don't know if blowing a thruster into something like that would actually slow you down in space, but I'm not a scientist, so. And thank you, R2. Awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, funny line, but still. Well, if they were moving forward and suddenly try to go backwards, maybe that was a stress point in the well, ship that caused it to stop like the Titanic. Yeah. You're on fire, of course you are. Yeah, that's a no crap right yeah. there. Obi-Wan. Yeah. I, I do love these fire ships that come up because it's just like, yeah, they're they're kind of stupid but awesome. But I love them. What is he doing? I wish we knew. These little fire ships. Yeah. Oh, they do just have. They're just okay. Um, yeah. Although I do, I do gotta say, it's like okay. Here's the landing strip. Because apparently in the original script, it was just gonna go crashing through the like through buildings, but then they decided, you know, let's not have this ship crash and kill mil like thousands, if not millions, of people. Yeah, they caused enough. Well, anybody problems. in that tower really is having a bad day. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Obi Wan's so suave. Yeah. They should have brought back how he hates flying. Yeah, well, Obi Wan is the best part of this movie. Let's just be real. Yeah. Let's be real. But Obi Wan is the best part of this movie. No, he. Although, um, is this scene? You look down, you see the Millennium Falcon. It's a little tiny little cameo there, but hey, why not? And here, three yeah. PO. Yeah. Oh yay! The Palpatine's been rescued. Should have killed him. How did you not mm -hmm. figure out <laughs> he's the one behind everything? That's something I was gonna get into a little bit later, but it's like in this, the Jedi are incredibly incompetent at what they do. No, they definitely are. Yeah. I mean, cause, like I said, I was gonna get into it a little bit later because there are scenes where it's just like blatantly obvious, where it's like. You know, neon sign levels of idiocy, but hey. I, I do love this little banter between the two. It's like, you don't be one for the, you know, not for saving you for the whatever time is, like ninth time. Yeah. And here we got Samuel L. Jackson, who criminally misused in this. Criminally misused. Everyone no. is criminally misused in this movie. That's why it's my least favorite. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, no, I'm sorry. You don't have Samuel L. Jackson in your movie unless he's going to cuss someone out. That, in my opinion. <laughs> unless he's a Star Wars fan and just wanted to be in Star Wars. Well, still, you can make him have him cuss out some character. Seriously. You know, he doesn't need to be a Jedi. <laughs> Have him be like a Han Solo-ish character. Although here, uh, and they put Anthony Daniels back in the C-3PO costume, which, dude, <laughs> I, I should mention, apparently Anthony Daniels never got claustrophobic in that, except for one scene where he was filming in uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh, which, if that's the case, dude, props to you, because I would be freaking the fuck out if you put that on me. <laughs> No way I could wear that. How did no one see him run over to her and yeah, do that? Yeah. Is yeah, no one really your Jedi just ran off to the side and you're you're not Yeah. Sir? Well, also, how is nobody noticing that those two are together? It's like it's like how did you know did no one see her there, period? You know, it's like yeah, it I don't would know. be different if they, it would be different if they like, you know, excuse me, and they you know, I need to talk to Padman Private. If they were to do something like that. 
but yeah, they're no. in the middle of nowhere no. with many people around them right now. Because you realize there, 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 there are people and other and droids around them. I mean, you don't see them, but like they're not too far from where they landed, and there were droids and people out there. Yeah. Although I'm wondering, when did this happen? When did they rendezvous to See, for this to be? I wanted a little bit more out of Clone Wars was showing them trying to keep their thing their secret, which they yeah. only did in like two episodes, which I found disappointing. But like, so there's a before, like I mentioned before, when he was talking to her before going with the Bad Batch, she clearly looked pregnant already. But that also clearly took place before this movie. Yeah. So yeah, why didn't she tell him then? <laughs> or he's just an idiot. How did you? Yeah, look, there are people in the background right now. How does so nobody see this? this? And that is the most action Padme gets until the big finale. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty She's much. a badass in the first two movies, but in this one, it's I'm pregnant and I'm dead. Yeah. So, I mean, mind you, you don't want pregnant women, like, flipping around because that could cause so, I mean, like, there's a yeah. story in the Batman comics. It doesn't mean that her character can't do anything else. Oh, I agree. I agree. Her character should be a lot more, you know, pivotal to the, you know, maybe she's like leading the, you know, resist, you know, there's so many different avenues you could take, but yeah, you're right. I, she's everything she did as Queen Amidala in the first movie, and then all the shit she did in the second movie, and this one, she's just... Background. Yep. Yep. Literal arm candy. That's the only way to put it. Oh, it's atrocious. Yeah. How do you do oh. that to such a good character? I know. And I mean, it's just... And Natalie Portman is a great actress. I mean, there are so many things you could have done here, but seriously. No! But, but like you, but like we were talking about with Samuel L. Jackson, criminally misused. Yeah. So, but like I said, this I I still don't like because like this should be Darth Maul. I don't like how it's Grievous. Because I mean, it's just because they I mean they put in Grievous and it's literally Grievous. What's Grievous's point in this movie? To die. That's literally his entire purpose. No, that's what it is. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> But there can only be two Sith, so we have to think that Maul is still dead. Mm -hmm. But like I said, what they should, like I said earlier, what they should have done is, oh, I do got, I do got to point this out. This scene right here, if this look, uh, this look right here, perfect look. Don't say anything. Just let's just give her that look, and you're fine. Don't say a flipping word. But of course, he opens his mouth later and just ruins the scene. Well, she's talking to him right now. Yeah. Yeah, no, but like right here, just fine. Just give her that look. You're good. Don't say a word. Because what's the first thing he says in this scene? You are so beautiful. It's like right here. But this is how he's no. been with her since he was nine. He's yeah, always true. been like overly doting on her and just obsessed with how she looks. The yeah. first time he met her, he asked, "Are you an angel? Because you're so beautiful." Although I do love how I do love how she's like, so love has blinded you. It's like he's just like, oh fuck. <laughs> it's like Padme is clearly a lot better at this than he is. So. Well, yeah. Plus, he's like, what, 22, 23? Uh, oh, frick. Oh, um, I th yeah, he's supposed to be early twenties, I think. Because he was nineteen right in the last now. movie, and it's only three years between episodes two and three. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Who's in a pajama that has pearl? Like, no. That sleeve would be so uncomfortable and would know. break in the toss and turn at night. That's yeah. not a viable well, pajama. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not sure if I've ever told you, but I have nightmares very badly. So I toss and turn a lot. And there have been yeah. times where even my own sheets, where I've woken up with my own sheets around my neck. Yeah, so, so you're not going to sleep with a nightgown that has beads for sleeves. Yeah, no doubt. Although I also question, um, Anakin is sleeping at, um, should, wouldn't someone be putting together, hey, why is Anakin spending all night at Padme's office? 
Can well, someone be because you don't leave him the Jedi. No one's actually keeping tabs on him. He sneaks out and spends the night at her place when nobody's looking for him or expecting him. Uh, that no, that just can we get a scene of Anakin like sneaking out of the Jedi temple? <laughs> oh my god! Because that, that would like, be so Lord, stupid. Clone Wars, when she's taken hostage. He's like, hey, I have some time tonight. We can act like an actual husband-wife. And then there's yeah. that emergency meeting and she gets taken hostage. But that's apparently yeah. what they did. <laughs> uh. oh. But the difference is when you had these dreams with your mom, it was happening. Yeah. And this time it's not happening yet. So d we're not there yet. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, Don't like be a I dick. said, yeah, like I said, I have nightmares pretty often and I never act on them because they're just nightmares. And there's, if I were to act on all the nightmares I were to have, I'd probably be locked in a closet just freaking, you know, in a straight jacket. <laughs> His last nightmare was true. So, I mean, he does have some credibility for being afraid about this one. Yeah, fair enough, but still. But like you said at that time, is like, this is happening now. This is in the future, so. Yeah. Oh, don't say that. Take Love his it. help. Obi-Wan would help you. Obi-Wan knows. Everybody yeah. knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. <laughs> I mean, how many times has Anakin done something stupid during the Clone Wars because she's in trouble? Like, oh God, oh dear Lord, um, Padme out hostage. I need to go. Well, <laughs> yeah, so that's a, yeah, that's a very good point. It's like, how many stupid decisions have you made because of this? A lot. <laughs> um, what I don't like is like. This is clearly not the right advice Yoda should be giving him. It's like, and granted, but like we said earlier, a lot, all this, all of this is like the Jedi are clearly bad at their jobs. The Jedi don't understand. I don't like people understand emotion. They're taken when they're way too yeah. young. They're trained up to have balance with your emotions, but like since they don't have actual parents, I don't think they like know. Yeah what they're teaching. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if you actually look at it, the Jedi are bad guys. The yeah. Jedi, I mean, cause like when was Ahsoka taking place in the Clone Wars? What was she, 14? So child soldiers. Yeah. yeah. So number one, very, very bad. We also see in the Clone Wars that the Jedi are doing false surrenders, a, a, get a war crime, which I've talked to you about. So right. again, you know, yeah, these the Jedi are not good characters, not good people. So. No, and that's that's what the Empire shows everyone and how he justifies killing them all whenever yeah. the Empire comes around. Yeah. Oh, and that's going to be something I, I get into later, but yeah. Yep. And it's like here, it's like, okay, yeah, we just had a meeting. Why weren't you there? It's like, yeah, I was doing something else. Again, you know, can no one put the dots together, clearly? Don't do it. Although, yeah. No, that's not how that works, Anakin. Yeah. No, it won't. Yeah, you. Every time yeah. Anakin has tr or Padme has tried to end the war, the Chancellor has. Yeah. Not. Yeah. And you think you so, would know this, but apparently not. I have not noticed his voting patterns, and know this is a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> No doubt. <laughs> Although this is like Anakin just spending time with the Chancellor. Um, you're supposed to be the Chancellor of the of basically the universe. You and you just have free time to chill out with the Jedi for no apparent reason. You know, you don't have a meeting to go to or something. He's always had a soft spot for the Chancellor or for Anakin. Yeah. Well, I get, like I said, I get that, but it's, but it's, but again, it's like, um, you think he'd be have more important stuff to do instead of just walking in a circle around his office. 
Like if he were well, no, walking he's having a very somewhere. important meeting with Anakin right now. He's trying to tell Anakin to spy on the Jedi for him. I'm sure this is penciled oh, okay. into his Okay, okay so okay, so he so he told the secretary, okay, make sure I don't have any meetings at this point. I need to seduce the, to, Anakin to the dark side right now. <laughs> yes. Not in those not? words. Yes. Although I do gotta say, I do gotta say, I want that office. That is a kick ass office. <laughs> You know, it doesn't have wood paneling on it, so it's a pretty good office in my eyes, too. <laughs> you don't like wood paneling? No, I every office I've in my company that I've seen is, like, from the 1970s. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yes, I. Uh, if that's all you see, yeah, you would hate that. It's atrocious. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. Yes. Hold on. There are so many memes. Okay. So many memes. It's unfair. <laughs> so many memes, oh, and they're yeah, all no, glorious. They can see. But yeah, it's like here. Uh, Mace Windu, chew him his ass out. Sit your fucking ass down, Skywalkers, or something like that. <laughs> I try not to swear, but I, it's just you can't have as Samuel Jackson and not have him curse someone out. <laughs> Our flying systems do necessary. Yep. We do not have many ships to spare. One about to try to attack and locate them. Yeah. Kunkel will send an attack group there immediately. He's right. It's a system we cannot afford to lose. Go, I will. Work relations with the bookies I have. Um, it's why? Uh, wouldn't that be something to set up? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I want to see a story about how how Yoda knows the Wookiee people. <laughs> Talk That'd about be pretty fun, actually. Yeah. Oh, cool. Talk, little whiny bitch. Consult and calm down, Anakin. You have been given a great honor to be on the council at your edge. It's never happened before. Oh. Oh, I should. I should also yeah. point out before this movie came out, they had um on the online they had a like um yeah. ask uh, Jocasta That's New is basically the Jedi librarian, quote quote. So they had a segment of you know ask Jocasta New anything and she'll answer. Yeah. And I remember because I was re I was on that and I was you know typing in my questions, but one person asked you know was was Obi Wan ever a Jedi master? And and she answered, no, Obi-Wan never was a master. He never actually sat on the council. And then all of a sudden, this movie comes out, and it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, that thing, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, Star Wars, it, no, like, before these movies came out, there was another, like, like Splinter of the Blind, uh, uh, what was it, Splinter of the Blind Eye, I think it was called. I, I'm probably saying that wrong. But Star Wars is notorious for just, Okay, this was canon, not anymore. And, and Disney just you know, oh, yeah. continued the trend. So, I mean, granted, if you actually look, same thing with Star Trek and, you know, anything that has anything like this does have us. And uh, when it becomes big, they expand on it. They expand really quickly before trying to narrow it down. It's like, okay, okay, let's actually make sense here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're asking me to do yeah, something. and again, here, right here, it's like, don't you see that this is your big, you're pushing him away. Seriously. Why are you asking me something? The council is asking me. Yeah, seriously. Because <laughs> war has made them all too tired to see the obvious. I don't know. Apparently, yeah. I do love the two clones. I, I would have cut the two clones out in the background because apparently they're just sitting here like, yeah, we're listening, by the way. Don't worry. <laughs> I would have just had it just been those three in the shuttle. No clones at all, but still. Is he not destroyed? Oh, got it. I hate this. No. Is, is he not the chosen one? Cut the chosen one shit out. There does not need to be any of that. <laughs> Could he bring balance to the force? Yeah, the balance brings the force that when he when he's done, there are literally two Sith and two Jedi. That's it. That's the balance he brings. He's supposed to bring balance to the force, but if you look at him, you know poor Anakin has problems keeping his own emotions in balance. Do you really trust him? I think you need to train him a bit better, help him, help himself. 
Yeah. And not be like, the prophecy says he'll fix it all. Yeah. Yeah. But like we said earlier, the Jedi it suck is. at their job. It, it is. You are uh, And I got to say, I hate this outfit for Padme. This, most of the outfits, I'm like, okay, a little bit, you know, it's a little pushy, but whatever. This is the only outfit I the, that I actively want to take off and just burn. So, oh, and right there, it's like, dude, shut your fucking mouth. You you know better. Now you're closer to the chancellor than anyone. Please, ask him to stop the fighting and let the yeah. see you. Don't ask me to do that. He's like, why is everybody oh, asking me to do something with the senator? Request the law. Yeah. Don't it's like it's, what she's doing is just no. asking you to like you know. Can we like five months fighting? pregnant. How has he not noticed until yesterday she was pregnant? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, and it's just, I just can't. Oh, he's so stupid. Oh, all these characters are so stupid. Ah. <laughs> And here, this scene, I know um, in this shot, George Lucas's daughters, like one of those is George Lucas' daughter. I don't know which one. <laughs> and so, yeah, no, because George Lucas's kids are all appear in this movie. I know one of his daughters is in that shot, but I don't know which character it is. So, and I also don't know if they actually put makeup or shit on her, because, I, like I said, so. Because like, I know George Lucas is in not this movie. I think it was like, like um, in the second movie, he was a character. But as a blue man, I don't know if he was actually, you know, covered in blue makeup or if he was just, oh, you CGI that. But so like with there, like I said, I know one of his daughters is in that scene, but I don't know which character. I don't know if he, she was actually in makeup or if it was just CGI. So. And although I do, this part coming up here in a second. Bugs me. Hold on. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Yeah. It's like he just says, "Leave us." All these other people who are apparently enjoying the show with you have to leave. No, they're all his cronies. So of course, yeah, he's like the mob boss, and they're all his little underling mobsters. So yeah, when the Godfather yeah. says, yeah, "Leave," I get that, leave. but still, it's like you think they'd be like, "Dude, we're watching the show too. Come on, man." No, they know exactly what's going on. They're going to leave him to his planning. Fair, fair enough. Otherwise, he'll kill them later. That's how it works. <laughs> You're going to leave now, or otherwise there's going to be a nice present underneath your car. <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> I want to see that Star Wars movie now. I want to see the Star Wars movie about the mob bosses. <laughs> I mean, granted, we do kind of get that with Jabba the Hutt later, but still. Oh, man. Uh, and I'm sorry, I just... They shouldn't trust him. He's a traitor. And you can't put it together because you guys are idiots. No, well, he has way too much trust in the Chancellor, which is why he's completely blind to all of this. Oh, yeah. I get that. But it's like, but you'd also think it'd be like, you know, why doesn't he have this trust in Obi-Wan, who apparently he is like a father to him? Yeah, I don't get it either. Well, because Obi-Wan is like his father. Do you listen to your father all the time? If you're like, now I want to go to the movies, and your dad's like, no. When I was a teenager, I didn't. But then again, when I was a teenager, I was fucking stupid, so. Well, Anakin's we barely out of his teen years. Uh. And uh, again, there are again so many memes, so many memes <laughs> about this scene. It's not even funny. Although it's like you think talking about this, like you've never heard about this dark, you know, this dark side tale. Again, Anakin, shouldn't you be putting two and two together here? How has he heard of this story? Well, because he probably, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's the wise. The wise. Yeah. No. I feel Yeah. I just had to tell you. 
But yeah, again, it's like, uh, shouldn't you be putting two and two together here, and again? I seriously, well, like you said, he is so freaking stupid. And Ian McDermott is clearly, yeah. Ian McDermott is a great actor, but he's just clearly just this is yeah, this is not a material from him. It's like how obvious can I be trying to play? Safety yeah. Dark side of the force is and again. Uh, like keeping yourself alive for 30 years so that you can tell your granddaughter to bring you back to life. Yeah, we'll get to that one. But this is to set up conversation for uh, for that act later, so. Yeah, it's a set up conversation, but still. <laughs> Sounds about right. You just, I do like that you just see the, like, he's got a little bit of pride in his eyes because he's like, yeah, I did this, by the way. He's not outright saying it, but, it, yeah, it's like, I did that. And, uh, so many memes. Oh, no, shit. And this, I do gotta say, this is probably the first... Yeah. So, what I like about this is this is probably the first real experience people had with Kashik. Because, mind you, when I, I read the books and stuff like that, so I read a lot about Kash, Kashik before. But this is the first time we see it on screen, and I do like what we see. It is really cool. It's these giant trees with buildings built into them because it's awesome. They're like giant Ewoks. Yep. Well, that's apparently how the story went is when they were trying, when apparently what happened when he was uh, making um, Return of the Jedi, he wanted to have all Ewoks, but you know, it's like, well, how many people do you know who are over seven feet tall? I know, personally, I know one. But, yeah, so yeah, it came down to, okay, um, let's cut them in half, and we'll, that way we can hire little children to play them, so. Or little people. <laughs> yep. Warwick Davis was apparently one of, was one of them. So, exactly. Yeah. He was yeah. wicked. Yeah. And what I don't like is like how many Jedi are in the council meetings are actually saying anything. Pretty much like two or three, and that's it. It's like what are the rest of us even doing here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, Robot Chicken does a spoofy about that, um, where a Jedi Master who's on the Council of Yaryo Poof is just, it's like he just has a complete meltdown of like, why am I even here? <laughs> no, like I said, that's a Robot Chicken spoof, but yeah. Yeah. That's something that always bugs me. It's like, why would the droids be issuing verbal commands? They're droids. You'd think they'd be networked in something like that. Oh, I do love this little dwarf droid. Just comes out of the water automatically, blasting away. Although, but it's like, take cover behind something, you idiots! In an actual battle, you don't oh, just stand know. out in the middle of nowhere oh, shooting. Well, like they I said, when we were doing, the, <laughs> they weren't even yeah. trying they to hide don't it. Stand in there. <laughs> yeah, but like we were, like I said, when we were doing a uh, siege of Jedotville, it's like, um. Take cover and start having covering fire. These people don't know anything about cover. They're just standing out in the middle of old nowhere, hoping not to get shot. I I've just been so frustrated with the council. Yeah. You are strong and wise. Yeah. I am very proud. I have trained you since you were a small boy. It's like, yeah, yeah, here we go. Exposition. <laughs> it's like, thank you. I already know this. This is an ad, as you know conversation. See, Obi Wan is on your side, Anakin. Stop being a dick. Yeah, yeah you would think you would realize this, though. But the thing is, 
this is the last time they see each other as friends in in, in ever. So, or at least until the uh, Empire or sorry, or until the end of the original Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. So. Something that always bugs me about these ships is like they're in atmosphere. How are they flying? Because you need like big, you know, big thruster jets pointing down to be able to take off a ship that size. But apparently, they just had the technology. Oh, that and that's something that always bugs me. What is that, Cody? Yep. It's so weird seeing clones like as real people, like live action. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, that's Cody. I don't... Uh, I keep forgetting the Clone Wars show came out after this, I think, didn't yeah. it? <laughs> yep, the Clone Wars came out after the series, yep. Oh, boy. And talk about one of the most overly dramatic death size ever. <laughs> Right. I, mind you, I don't know what it's like. People, I've never actually witnessed someone die, and honestly, I don't want to. But still. Isn't that a thing about Harry Potter? Like, if you see death, you see something. I don't remember. We need to do those movies sometimes, but I, I know there's no streaming service that offers them. Yeah. I feel lost. Yeah. Lost. What do you mean? Seriously, we talked about this. Obi Wan trusts you, Anakin. Don't do that. Yeah. Seriously. He's just such a. Ah. I want more. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Looks like too much. Ah. Uh, I mean, any scene with Padme, it's just, it's like, gosh, can we cut this seriously? I know it's important for the movie, but still, it's so, so bad. But that's why I hate this movie, because we only see Padme in these weird, stupid scenes. Yeah. Whee. She's... Like, Anakin, like, she's only seen as a damsel in distress this whole time. Which is really unfortunate. Yes! Oh. Uh, and this planet, it, it bugs me because when they showed the like where the plant, the plant when he was like approaching the planet, it had a lot of green. But apparently, only life exists in these craters. So how is it so green? I don't get that. Unless like half the planet is covered in emeralds and shit. But there's no ball here. Yeah. Unless you with your kind permission, I should like some and to use your city as a base as I search nearby systems for general use. Yes. Yep. And these little guys, are they like slaves or what? That's a, That always bugs me. I don't know, maybe they're just workers at this fueling yeah. depot. Yeah, I do like I do like this. It's like, dude, help. Tell your people to take shelter. If you have warriors, now is the time. Is he being set up? No, I, that's something that I wish kind of had happened, but no, unfortunately not. It's just a call, but like, but like you said, I really kind of wish he was because that would have been cool. Oh, it was Commander Cody! Yay! Yeah. And apparently, no one saw him sneak away back to the shadows. No, they're blind. Yep. They're droids, but the sensors suck. Apparently. Maybe he used the force to cloak himself from no. Yeah. I've never seen that. Um and this apparently there was a scene of like him going through like, you know, like a um 
a stable of these, like, trying to pick out which creature he's going to ride. And, like, this one was just, like, being, like, you know, being just a complete jackass to all the rest of them. So it's like, yeah, I'm taking this one. <laughs> and why that did you do that when you were flying down into the planet? Seriously, dude. I am sending you to the yeah. And I think we're screaming like hell earlier, and then all of a sudden it decides to be quiet here. She used the force to connect with it and make it be quiet. So, okay, this is important. Shut the hell up. <laughs> And this is, I know there have been so many spoofs about what happens here, but seriously, uh, just get to it, please. He jumps down. Note, there are battle droids everywhere around him. Like, come on, that was an entrance. Hello there. That was a good entrance, but still, there are droids everywhere. General Grievous, here's what you do. Open fire. Yeah. Although I do like this. It's just like, seriously, fuck you. I just crush. Like I said, I do like that bit of just, you know, it's like I said, it's just, yeah, we're going to fight you now. It's just crush. But still, it's like, there's at least 100 battle droids right there. Open fire. No, Grievous just told them not to. He wants to deal with the Jedi himself. Dude, shut up and just have your soldiers deal with it. There's a reason you didn't see General Patton picking up a rifle and charging the Germans. On um, this also bugs me. Um, apparently, he can just pinwheel his lightsabers like this. You think Obi Wan would be diced into sliced meat in a matter of seconds, but oh. But yeah, if you actually watch, because I remember when the making of this movie, they were making a big deal about how oh he fights all the lightsabers at once. But if you actually look, he's only really dealing with two of the. I mean, mind you, they cut the hands off really quick. Yeah. But he's only really dealing with two of them at a time, and he's holding the other two back, and then they switch them around. So, ugh. But like I said, they cut their hands off pretty quick. He was never able to do this before. Or no, actually, he didn't cut some of his hands a lot in Clone Wars. What's-his-face had a lot of armor. <laughs> and here we go. There you go. Aw, it's the 212th Legion. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Pretty I haven't sure watched you. the Clone Wars in a long time, so I forget what the actual Legion was. <laughs> and I do like this close. I do like that close up of the eyes. That is kind of cool, but still. <laughs> Ouch. Why didn't you do that before, by the way? I... Why don't you just use the fork, pick him up, and just really ragdoll him around? Yeah, I don't know, because that's what James and I said that the entire time we were watching Clone Wars. Like, they'd be doing stuff and just using their lightsabers, and we're like, you're Jedi! Use the Force and throw them! Yeah. And those people apparently didn't see the bike. It was this giant speeding motorbike coming in their way, and just ran them up down. And no one think. yeah, seriously... How does no one notice? I don't even know. Although this is just... I just imagine, like, you pi trying to get a horse to jump off a cliff. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Oh, how did you and lose all, your yeah. And all what? the times you yell at Anakin not to lose his lightsaber, what happens to you? Exactly. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, and here we get the uh, scene I alluded to earlier. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Plot. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. The dark side of the Force surrounds the Chancellor. Seriously? I think they mentioned that in one of the latter episodes of Clone Wars, and I said the same thing, and I'm like, maybe it's because he's the source! Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, these people are not good at putting two and two together. They've had a whole war of, oh, there's someone behind both sides, and it's probably someone high up. Yeah, who's this, pay no attention to the mysterious man behind the curtain type thing. The Chancellor has been <laughs> Chancellor for far too long. Yeah, he's already broken so many laws. He wants even more but power. But they amended the Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, yeah, this movie's giving me a headache. Oh, it's whiny Anakin time. Yeah, whiny Anakin time. <laughs> well, the council doesn't want to grant me master. Boo hoo, grow up. My boss doesn't want to promote me, but that's not because, well, that's not because she doesn't like me. That's because I don't deserve a promotion at this time. It's not, oh, the I was they would have way to promote old. me to. I haven't had as much training as anyone else in the Jedi my age, but they're letting me sit on the council, which no one my age has For ever reasons. done before. But no, I'm not a master. Yeah. Boo hoo. Yeah. And finally, finally, it clicks. About flipping time. Oh my gosh. All its aspects, not just the dogmatic narrow view of the Jedi. Oh, dude. Why is Vita in the race? A larger view. Be careful, Jedi. Oh, man. Uh, there's, a, there's a parody on YouTube called The Emperor's New Clones that parodies this scene so perfectly. I love it. It's just what they do is basically the character. Characters start off talking as they walk into a circle, but then just turns up the two are literally running around in a circle. <laughs> oh man, that's a series I'll have to send you. It's called The Emperor's New Clones. It is so amazingly stupid yet faithful to Star Wars. I adore it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, okay, it's like right here. You know he's the dark. You know he's the dark. Literally, push your lightsaber forward. Just push it forward. That's all you gotta do. You will solve everybody's problems if you just push. Which is the thing we have to do when we actually get around to Lord of the Rings. I have an entire conversation about. This. Literally, you're just just literally just take your lightsabers and put it through his head. You will solve all the problems. You know exactly what he's doing, but you're too stupid to see it. Yeah. Well, because he's too angry to stop himself. Yeah. That's but, the whole thing with the Sith. But Use the danger! Just, he literally just said, I'm manipulating you. Be manipulated. That's literally what he just said. And Anakin's too stupid to be like, I, I'm being manipulated right now. Seriously, dude. Oh, gosh. I mean, to be fair, the Jedi are... You know, when they're just like, don't go to the dark side. But they yeah. don't really, they, they just leave it at that. And you're like, so when you meet a jet Sith and they say this crap, you fall for it. Yeah. The Jedi are terrible teachers. Yes, they are. <laughs> terrible teachers. What are you trying to do with that thing? Uh, and this entire it's like yes let's have an entire wrestling match while we're on our freaking motorcycle Whee! 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 yeah so much for that ride 
And apparently Obi-Wan no Kenobi knows how to wield a staff weapon. Ouch. By the way, if you got kicked like that in real life, I'm pretty sure your ribs would be broken. Well, I'm surprised. He had a balcony fall on his waist, but he's not injured at yeah, all. Yeah, he's still able to walk, so yeah. And yeah, here it's like, uh... Whack. <laughs> Ouch. This scene here coming up. Kick. And he just breaks his shin on his leg. Right? That is stupid. That is amazingly stupid, but again, I love it. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to kick this metal thing. And... Yeah. Uh, again, why don't you just use the force and throw him? And here, apparently his guts are made of gasoline. Because seriously, he just combusts. Ah, uh, what were your internal organs made of? Seriously, that you combust in that way? So uncivilized. Oh. He's dead now. Ew. Yeah. And I should point this out here. Um. Notice the Jedi that Mace Windu is taking with him to um, arrest the Chancellor. In the expanded universe, they have each of these characters have a backstory, and you know about you know okay, this is a preferred lightsaber style and blah blah blah. He literally chose the three worst Jedi to take with you. <laughs> yeah, and again, it's like seriously. Not quick enough. This scene, another scene, this brings, this is leading me to another rant I have, but oh man. Yeah. This is a smart move by Mace Windu. It's like, dude, I need you to just chill for, you know, go order a pizza. Let me take care of this. Please, God, just don't interfere. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, dude, please. You're going to screw this up if you go with. So just please. Go but order a pizza or something. Like they should know Anakin well enough to know he is terrible yes. at doing that. Yeah. So I give but Anakin would... props for telling Mace Windu. I give Mace Windu props for listening and telling Anakin to stay out of it. But he probably but should. On the other hand, he should still be, you know, he should still be like, hey, uh, oh, by the way, uh, you, Jedi, can you make sure he doesn't freaking leave his room? <laughs> yeah, like, uh... Wow. Oh. Yeah, so it, again, it's like you'd think he'd be like, dude, I know just, but, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take the consistent decision out of your mans. Go, okay, you, strap, tie him down. Don't let him leave. Yeah. Or you, what you could, another thing you could have done is like, hey, go spend time with Padme because I know you spend so much time about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that would have worked. It would have worked. What did he 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 said he was going to meet up with Obi Wan? Like maybe since Obi Wan just took care of Grievous, that can wait a second. Let's go take care of the Chancellor. Yeah. Why why make Anakin wait with nothing to do? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you'd think be like you know, you know here here have some busy work. Like Clean, you, you know, just found out who something. your enemy is. Yeah. You should probably immediately investigate it. Yeah. Although I do gotta say, I do like this scene of this. Those them two just like they're looking at each other from across the distance. I do like this, but still, I can't lose her. Yeah. Maybe you should go talk to her. Yeah, go Can talk to her. He. Yeah. It's like you know you have no you have nothing else to do at this time. Go spend time with her. Why not? I'm going to go talk to Padme, my wife, about what I just learned, yeah. because she Although usually has I, really good advice. Yeah. But what I don't like is that it was sunset, and now all of a sudden it's night. It's like, so how long did it take you to get down there? Although, this is the scene where I wanted to get into. They go oh, in yeah. and are like, under arrest. Literally, don't do that. Literally, anything but this. What you do is you pretend you don't know he's a set floor. Because literally, you're just walking this into his trap. Literally, just go in and be like, "Hey, the war's over. Let's go get a beer." 
Or heck, you could even say, hey, we know you're the Sith, but we can't uh, legally do anything to arrest you. Because literally, you are playing into his hands. It's treason. And again, so many memes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and seriously. For this fight, I do need to point out, um, they they originally, from what I again, from what I understand, they originally had the stunt double that had the stunt doubles all, you know, they had this entire fight scene with the stunt doubles figured out. It's like, okay, we're gonna film it. But then George Lucas is like, oh no, we're gonna use the actors. Who Ian McDermott, when at the time of filming, was pretty old. And Samuel yeah. Jackson, although not extremely old, is not trained, is not a trained martial artist. So this fight scene is very underwhelming. Yeah. It should be the best. Yeah. So yeah, that's something that bugs me. It's like you think you you, you know. Look, I understand you want to have the you you want to have the actors and shit, but you know you paid stunt doubles to do this shit. Have them do their flipping job. Yeah, seriously, look at this. This fight scene is very much hit 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 hit. Yeah, yeah. Except for there, which is really CGI. <laughs> no, the not the novelization of this is a lot better, although a lot darker. <laughs> Because in the novelization, it describes them basically as be they're basically fading in and out of reality is how hard they're fighting. But yeah, in this, it's just, we're fighting so hard. Just stab him! Just, you have, like, seriously, Anakin shouldn't even be, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, Anakin, he's dead already. But still, like I said, it's like going in here, don't arre don't be like, you know, look, you're under arrest. Just go in and be like, hey, the war's over. Let's go have a party. We're having, you know, we're throwing a parade. Literally make it seem like you are, like you don't know, because that way, if he reserve, if he doesn't give up his power, you have the people on your side. But by going in like this, the general population hate you now because he's able to split it in your way. Yeah. I, I was gonna say, Anakin, you told Mace Windu that he's the bad guy. You're why this is happening. Yeah. But the again, it's like, on your information, this is. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and that's yeah. But, but again, it's like he has already told you, like I'm I'm manipulating you. Even here, he's basically like I'm manipulating you. It's like seriously, and again, put the pieces together. And again, oh, Mace, just literally don't just just stab him right now. Your lightsaber is two inches from his face. Push it forward. All you gotta do. Yeah, it, right there. He has control of the Senate and the courts. That's why you don't go in like this. That's why you. That's why you go in acting like you're his friend. Yeah. Seriously. And like. To be fair, Mace is doing this exactly what they told Anakin for the like, past three years. You're holding a lightsaber. You, you just push it forward. You don't need to do this over-exaggerated strike. Ah. This is awful. Yeah. And again, all the memes. All the memes. Oh my god. But yeah, and here's here's another thing. We how it says Mace Windu's dead, but we see him be zapped for like five, like fifteen seconds. But we saw Luke get zapped for like. What have you done, Anakin? Minutes. You just helped him kill. You know he is the bad guy. Yeah. So why yeah, are you going to kill him? You still have your lightsaber. Kill him right now. You can still fix this. You feel oh, bad my. about what just happened, which is fine. Don't join him. Yeah. Seriously. Like, like it's, it's like, seriously, dude. He's already proven his, that he's manipulating you at, as we speak. So just, all you yeah, gotta do right now is cut right off his head. Seriously, dude. Oh my god, how so do you feeling bad about killing Mace Windu, Windu do? Alright, I'll go kill some young ladies. Yeah, yeah no I doubt. I felt bad about what I did to Mace, but I'm gonna make up for it by killing a bunch of kids now. Yeah, no doubt. Oh my gosh. 
Seriously, dude, you suck at your job. But again, you think the Jedi would have noticed too, but still. But, but like we covered, they're incompetent at their jobs too. So literally, this is the universe where everybody sucks at their jobs. This movie was written so poorly. What is going on in this scene? Like, Anakin literally just went from a decent fellow to whatever the heck is going Hitler. on right now. Yeah. He went, from a de- he went from a decent person to Hitler, basically, yeah, in the score of about five seconds. He was just mad at Mace for good reason, saying, no, that's not the Jedi way. He needs yeah. to be tra- to, yeah. oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just join the bad guys now. Yeah, seriously. It's not, maybe I should t- step away from the Jedi and still defeat the bad guys. No, it's I'm just going to join the bad guys, even though I know they're bad. Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> what? I hate this movie. And yeah, it's like Yoda apparently feels it, but apparently no one else does. None of the other Jedis do. Well, Yoda's even obviously in- the most well versed and most sensitive to the Force. Like, but Mace Windu has also had apprentices. Apprentices, you think they'd be feeling this too? Apparently not. Not necessarily, because everybody is in tune differently. Yeah. I I still don't buy. I still feel like you know other people would be like, something's up, <laughs> something bad just happened. And oh my god! And yeah, now he just goes full on. Now, yeah. in Jeremy has gone full on cheese. This is now one hundred percent overacting beyond reason. Well, I'm pretty sure even he's aware that like his hold on Anakin oh, yeah, yeah. now is very loose, and so he's probably like, "I'm going to use this as much as I can in yeah. case he changes well, his I, mind." <laughs> yeah, I, the his performance here is the same performance I give. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in um, Batman versus Ro- Batman and Robin is that this is not my A material. I'm just here making a paycheck. I'm not here because because they or like um or um uh in uh, in uh Jeremy Irons whenever he's in a bad movie. And this is not this is not Jeremy Irons going. Uh, here, this is me giving my A game. This is me earning a paycheck because I recognize the script is shit. So I'm not gonna give you A material. I'm giving you shit. He's like, I'm going to give you my hammiest, cheesiest performance. Yes. Yes. And seriously, Ian McDermott, that's, from the, for the rest of the movie, that's all it is. That is all his performance is, is 100%, here's the cheese. <laughs> then we will have peace. Oh. And this is another thing. Um, the Jedi apparently see all these, all these soldiers coming. Um, bail out. <laughs> you think they'd be like, okay, something's up, something's wrong. The soldiers have never marched on force at us like this. Let's get the hell out of here. Now it's fine. Yeah. From the 501st Legion, so. But Rex isn't there, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Because Rex is a good Rex guy. Rex is a good guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, one guy there is just like dying. Is like, hold on, man. This is just again, take cover, you guys. Seriously, why is no one taking cover behind it? They're literally just standing out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, oh, by the way, and look, here's the worst part about that. He didn't pull it out of the pocket. It literally just appeared in his hand. <laughs> That's the worst part about that scene. Although oh, this no. bugs me. Yeah. This bugs me. Because how many Jedi are, are in Commander's Clone Troopers at this time? Presumably like several thousands. And Palpatine is calling them up individually. To order them to do yeah. this? Yeah. So apparently he's spending the rest of his day conscious like calling, calling up every random soldier. <laughs> Instead of issuing a blanket white order that everybody hears, he's literally just going around calling every individual captain. It's like, by the way, do this. By the way, do this. 
Oh. Kiati Mundi. Yeah. Who is a uh, 100% a Jedi sociopath. I mean, because here's the thing. His, he has a family, apparently, in the expanded universe, and he doesn't care when they... I don't know what happened for a battle. Who stopped to receive a transmission? Yeah, no doubt. But yeah, again, it's like, here we see that all the Jedi apparently suck at their jobs, because they don't realize that, oh, they're about to be shot in the back. <laughs> Is that each Shakti? I'm really bad with names. No, um... Wow, uh, that was a terrible... <laughs> She's in the Clone Wars. Uh, Ayla Skira. Yeah, Ayla Skira is that one. It's a good thing Yoda's not with clones. Oh. He's with the Wookiee. Yoda's having yeah. a really bad day. Yeah, and here is Plo Koon, who takes a... We see Plo Koon in the Clone Wars so much because Dave Filoni, who is you know makes the Clone Wars, loves Plo Koon, <laughs> which always got me because he's really just a set piece in the in the first one. Yet all of a sudden, it's just like, dude, I love this guy. So, and you no, know, here's the worst yeah. part: that yeah. Jedi we just got just got killed was actually killed in the Clone Wars, and here she is getting killed again. So, uh, I don't remember her name. I, it's something, uh, something Galia, I think. But yeah, we see her get killed in, in the Clone Wars cartoon, and there she is killed again. So, seriously, talk about retro continuity right there. Yeah. Oh, it's a, uh, there are clones with them. It's a good thing the yeah. Wookiees are. But yeah, it's a good thing he apparently Yoda knows what the flipping score is. See, Yoda's been feeling it all day. He was wait he was wondering when it was gonna be his turn. Yeah. But yeah, apparently none of the other Jedi though. <laughs> Although I do I do like that of just, you know, like Chewbacca reaches down and picks him up. That is kind of I do kind of like that. Although this scene, yeah. Yeah, this one makes no sense. You just what? Anakin, you're about to be a father yourself. Yeah. How you're you just felt bad about yeah. killing Mundu? How like I just don't get yeah. it. I don't. I either. don't. Get it. I mean, mind you, the uh, we should point out the the story goes that the reason the kid kind of like took a step back there is because apparently Hayden Christian yelled "boo" in filming, and that's what scared the kid. Because otherwise, it's like what prompted the kid to step back like that? Because that's a good moment when the lightsaber turns on. The kid's like, "Oh fuck." How far along is she? And seriously, how has Anakin not noticed until a few days ago? How has pregnant? no one noticed? She's not, she doesn't have a husband, and no one has apparently the noticed. The past her. couple of days, like, days since he got home, yeah. she's been dressing as if she's obviously pregnant. Mm -hmm. Like, she's wearing stuff that's fitted and showing the belly. Yeah, yeah. So. It's, uh, it's like, why are you going there? Um, and remember how I said each of George Lucas's kids has a role in this? Here we see his son. This is George Lucas's son being a Jedi and killing people. Which, to be fair, at least he kills a bunch of soldiers before he himself is gunned down. But here, this bugs me. It's like, don't worry about him. Why? Why? What would you do? He's just a senator. Why are you going to shoot him? Why would you shoot him? Seriously. He's not like he has any part in this. Well, that's why they were letting him go. Yeah. But still, when the little kid showed up. But it implies that somebody was going to shoot at his ass. It's like, seriously? And this scene bugs me because we just see a scene of these clones wandering around. It's like, okay, these Wookiees are dead. Okay, move on. This scene has no purpose at all. Seriously. Right here. It just, And then... Yeah, and then we cut you away. It's like, seriously, what was the point in that? And this is another part. He says goodbye, Chewbacca. So apparently, Chewbacca is a is like a place of honor among the Wookiees. Yes, no, that he decides is to go Chewbacca. Work with him. That's Chewbacca. Yeah, he says Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah. that's Han Solo's Chewbacca. Yeah. 
So how is it that Chewbacca goes from a place of honor among the Wookiees to working with Han Solo? Someone want to piece that one together to me? Did you not see Solo? Obviously, sometime after this movie happens, he gets captured by... Oh, the Imperial Army was taking Wookiees to use as slaves on Kessel. I know, but they, still. Oh, yeah, they were. That's like that's been said yeah. in Rebels. I think it was in Rebels. I've been reading a lot, but it, that's definitely what's going on in Solo. And that's how he didn't. Yeah. He got captured by the Imperial Army. Is what happened. That's how he meets Solo. And because me, it's like, seriously, you think they would have put that together? But but still, I mean, I I know what you're saying. And I get it, but still, it's it always bugged me. He is, he, he was a great warrior. And then he got captured because they were all getting captured. And then Han Solo saved his life. So then Han Chewie's like, well, I guess I'm indebted to you now because you saved yeah. my life. Although that does remind me of my favorite scene in Solo is where Han's taking a shower and then Chewie just comes into the shower with him. I liked uh, it when Chewie ripped his arms off. That too. That's a good one too. Because <laughs> it was like the scene where yeah. it's a kiss a droid's never ripped anyone's arms off. <laughs> Boogies have been known to do that. Yeah, and this bugs me. It's like, it's like, yeah, I understand you're going to call for help, but you're literally you're calling out to literally everybody, so even clones are going to hear you. <laughs> yeah. Because apparently Bail Lagana is the only guy who's like, hey, uh, the Jedi are actually not war criminals, or actually not horrible people. We shouldn't ex execute them all. Yeah. And that kid's got a new starfighter now, which is green, because why not? The Jedi have tried to overthrow the Republic. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. No, you knew. Mm. No, you jackass! You're Who stupid. Told Windu, that he was the Sith. Yeah. What did you think they were gonna do? I mean, granted, you're right. They should have put him on trial. But mm -hmm. why are you surprised the Jedi attacked at all? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's not that bright. Uh, Anakin Skywalker, the dumbest of dumb. Which, mind you, in the old, a lot of the old expanded universe is very much the case, too. Because in the books I've read, it's always Anakin Skywalker is just 100%, I am a hammer, I'm going to hammer everything. It's really good if I hit a nail. The problem is, a lot of times I hit kids, too. Literally. Yeah, he's... I mean, he just got finished <laughs> hitting a bunch of kids. Anakin's definitely always, like, not had the most well-thought-out plans. They've always been crazy. Mm -hmm. But, like... Well, I mean, it, his he's plans have always like, been literally charged. He still went dark side so quickly. His quick plans are always... Zero sense. Yeah. I mean, like, in Clone Wars, they try to show how he had, like, leanings towards oh, um, the dark side, which is fair. But how they finally recruited him just doesn't fit. I'll put that. Look, look, look real quickly. Look quickly. You see in the starship how R two D two is like sticking out like that far, yet the ship's wing again is like that's that's the width of the ship's wing. Where's the rest of his body? He has no underside there. He's literally just a head. Yeah, talk about poor design. And here we see a precursor of the blockade runner that we see in episode one or uh, episode one in the in uh, episode four. Excuse me. So, and mind you, I do like the ship design because it's basically just a ship with big old engines. So it's like, okay, this is clearly a ship that's meant to go fast. Yeah. And here, apparently, they have like little floating things for Yoda to sit on. Why don't they just have him sit on one instead of those two like walking at a slug's pace and Yoda apparently trying to run? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Or heck, literally, one of you pick him up. He's Two feet tall. I mean, I know it's kind of demeaning, but at this point, you wouldn't mind a piggyback ride. Right. And Mustafar, the planet is... I'm curious about if a planet could exist with that is so 
volcanically active like this. I mean, there's no way a planet like this could support life. No way that could happen, but still. It'd be way too hard. Yeah. There's no way living things could live on that planet, but still. A planet like that, I'm, I'm just curious, could a planet like, like that actually exist that's so unstable that it has volcanoes erupting everywhere at all times? And, yeah. And by take care of you, I mean that as and I'm a the way, Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to that, take that's care. An old, that's an old uh, freaking cliche, though. It's like, don't worry, you'll, we'll take care of you, kill. Uh, this bugs me. Apparently, he doesn't see the two Jedi sitting right behind him. That would be like me having a conversation with you, and you're like, "Okay, we need to." Uh, was like it's like you're you're it's like you hate that thing right there, and I'm sitting in a conversation having with like, that thing right there. <laughs> you, it's like seriously, you think you realize? It's like okay, we're at war with the Jedi, and I can see you're sitting right there with two Jedi. <laughs> I mean, if he, if the Jedi had like you know sat back or something, or then I, then I could buy it. But no, they both literally lean in. Oh, and Musfar is apparently a moon and not a planet, so. <laughs> yeah, he or two gets shot out of a wing that's two feet tall. <laughs> Seriously, how thick is that wing? <laughs> Like, like I said, that much. <laughs> so it's like all the fuel and everything, all the all the oxygen are in there is apparently held in that wing that's that big. And R two D two literally, which st should be sticking out of it, but he never is. He's always just there. Just said, yeah. And uh, I do like I do like the callback of the mouse droid in Episode Four to these mice droids just fleeing away. I do like that callback. Yeah, and uh, they clearly didn't fix the puppets at all, which is another thing that bugs me. Look, he remembered he had the Force. Yeah, and apparently these clones all now suck at their jobs because they can't kill two people. No, Yoda's just a really good fighter. Well, you have uh, you have at least hundred people. And everybody and shoot at once. Right here. <laughs> Yeah. Now, is this the scene that is this the movie that has the ETs in the background, or is that another movie? I can't remember. No, that's in the second movie. That's in the second movie. Okay. Unless it so might what? be both. We'll have to watch. Yeah. What made Apparently, him? no one went through and cleaned up the bodies. I thought he killed all the kids in the Jedi Council room. Uh, like, why did Anakin have to go in and kill the younglings? Clearly, yeah, the clone would have been you just, no, Here's a better idea. Why don't you just put a bomb on the elevator, send that up, and... Or that way you don't have anybody trying to... Because here's the thing. Even... even even mass murderers have problems with like killing kids. Like that's what I don't like. There was no reason for Anakin to have done that. Yeah, yeah. Any little, any, little, any random clone could have gone. Oh, up he there saved and done Padme and my uncle. Oh yeah, the no, very itchy thing right there. Okay, go kill a bunch of little kids. Yeah. Yeah. Run away! <laughs> Literally, you have battle droids right there. Pick up their guns and defend yourself. Seriously, at least he has the. At least that one character in the background has the common sense to put a table between the two of them. <laughs> so, my cat's like being weird right now. Yeah. Right, he says hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Zeus. <laughs> Oh, 
I follow a lot of esports and a lot of time, and because esports are still in the global pandemic, they're doing a lot of the same things. So a lot of times I see literally the cat will just get up in stream like that. So don't worry, I'm used to it. Yeah. Run away, dumbass. <laughs> Why would they you trust person? any Dark Lord? If someone's calling themselves a Dark Lord, yeah. Why would you believe them if they said they promise you peace? Like, what? Oh, okay. seriously. That was. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, it's like um, apparently Yoda knows what the deal is, but Obi Wan Yoda it. definitely knows because Yoda sensed that this is what Anakin is capable of since he first met nine year old Anakin. Yeah, and I still refuse to believe that any version of Anakin can kill younglings. Yeah, yeah. I also should point out: you see how Anakin apparently grabs a Jedi with on the neck, and he's still lightsaber fighting the other two. A poor, according to the lore, he literally just strangles that character to death. And strangulation doesn't it strangulation takes a little bit of time. So apparently he was holding holding that one Jedi for at least I don't I don't know how long it exactly takes for someone to suffocate to death, but I'd say at least three to four minutes. <laughs> but it also would have been with his um mechanical hand too wouldn't it isn't his mechanical hand his left hand yeah, well yeah if, if he had crushed her neck then fine but actually that was his left hand that was that was his human hand oh okay never mind then so yeah but again but it, but again it's like no she was strangled to death it wasn't that he broke her neck he was, she was strangled i don't know where to look you don't know where to look where else would he go? Well, he doesn't know that all the senators were sent to Mustafar. No, no, no. He doesn't know where to look for Anakin. Oh. No, he does. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's a great danger. <laughs> From himself, yeah. Oh man. Anakin has turned to the dark side. You're wrong. How could you even say that? Oh. Uh, I have seen what you. Why didn't you bring a recording and show her? Killing young things. Not Anakin. Again, why didn't you bring a recording? Man. I saw him do it, and I still don't believe he did it. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I've had I've had I've had conversations like that where I've literally been like I have or literally I had a I watched a commercial today and I'm still like I actually watched that commercial. This wasn't a dream. That is an actual commercial I just watched. I don't believe you. I could send it to you, but it's really freaking oh my lord, stupid and grotesque. <laughs> Oh. I must find him. But here's the thing. It's like, oh, here's the thing. Padme, you know Obi-Wan is Anakin's best friend, and you're his wife. Why don't you both go there together? If any two people are going to be able to talk sense to him, it is literally you two. Yeah. So literally, both of you go there and confront him. Well, she thinks he's going to go kill Anakin, so she doesn't want to team up with him. If... He were to have said, I don't want to kill him. Come with me and let's talk some sense into him. Then she probably would have like gone with him and done that. Yeah. But no, this then, is the But Obi Wan know Obi Wan knows that he that she's pregnant. Obi Wan knows. No one else Dude, does though. She's not hiding it very well in that robe. Yeah. Seriously. And everybody's dead. <laughs> And here, and it's like, what are you doing at this point? Why don't you just get on your ship and return home? 
Why are you sitting here watching the sunset on a volcano? On a volcano? Because it's the sun setting on Anakin Skywalker. He will arise, Darth Vader. That pretty much, yeah, actually. I mean, yeah, I get the symbolism, but still. And the tear, the one tear. He should, wait, if he didn't like Mace Windu killing Senator Palpatine, he should have stopped Mace and then left the Jedi like Ahsoka did. Like, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he decides to go and kill kids. It yeah. doesn't work. Yeah. And uh, uh, here, we, here we see, if you actually look in the background, you'll see Obi-Wan kind of slip on because apparently no one else sees that, though. And uh, C-3PO has never flown before, but apparently he's really good at it. Uh, but I'm always, I've always been curious, what is this little pod he locks himself in? A closet? He just, like, he just like, goes to a closet. <laughs> it's like, seriously, there are probably other rooms you can sit in. You don't have to sit in the storage department all day long. Seriously, that'd be like, that'd be like I'm taking a road trip. Okay, you sit in the trunk. Well, if you're being a stowaway, yeah, you would stow away in the trunk. But again, that ship is huge. I'm pretty sure they have all the rooms you can hide in. Ugh. Just giant. I, lo I do like that whenever they talk to Palpatine, it's, it's always a giant hologram. It's never a hologram the same size as the rest of it, which always happens to everybody else. No, only he gets special treatment of being a giant. So I do like that. Well, he probably, yeah, obviously he well, it's, messed it's, it's, it's the symbolism. It's the symbolism behind yeah. it. That's the reason they do it, but still. So, like I said, that's like I said, that I do love how they do that. Everybody, everybody else they have when they have a conversation with, it's literally either a small hologram or a normal size hologram. But no, Palpatine, he gets the big one. Just because, like I said, I do love that. Yeah. Obi-Wan really should have just let Padme try to talk Anakin into coming back. Yeah. Because she yeah. probably could have up until Obi-Wan yeah. popped out. Up until he appears, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was, I was going to say that. I was going to say that when we got to it, but. Because Padme is really good at talking to people. It's what she does for a living. She's yeah. married to Anakin. Oh so clearly, like, if he would have just let her do it, I'm sure she probably yeah. could have. Yeah. Although, no, but the reason I went kind of went like that is because um, if I do you watch any ASMR videos, do you know what those are? Mm -mm. No. Nope. Uh, there's a video. There's a video of like, uh, ad, like uh, of a uh, of a person role playing cosplaying Padme and Padala in a senator meeting, and it's like I cannot watch that movie because I've been in meetings like that before, and it pissed me off. Ugh. literally, I was once in a company meeting where we where we were discussing what we can and cannot discuss in during company meetings. So yeah. Oh Oh. What new powers? What have you learned? All you've done is kill people. Especially kids. Like, I have learned how to kill kids. You should have written a better speech for her here. She totally yeah. could have had, like, at least gotten closer to talking him to coming back than whatever's yeah. going on right now. Yeah, no doubt. Mom, still can. Can't you see? We don't have to run away anymore. Oh. I have brought peace to the Republic. Oh my god. And here we go, really, to the... Uh, I can overthrow him. Yeah. And together, you and I can rule the galaxy. Where did he even, like, get that idea? He went on. <laughs> he went like, completely on board. Killing all the senators because the Emperor told you where they were. Without the Emperor, you would be nothing. So what makes you think you can overthrow him? Yeah. Like, where did this come from? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're breaking my heart. Now, me and my brothers made so many parodies about that of, of Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Literally making a music video out of it, which unfortunately we don't, we didn't save. Uh, no, because of you. Because of you, dumbass. You're the idiot who killed kids. 
And it turns out she's not okay. Obi Wan, worst timing ever. Literally, seriously. Seriously, the worst timing ever. And uh, Anakin, you're choking your wife. I know you're flip. I know you're pissed, but still, that's your wife. That conversation could have just been better written. I'm sorry. Let me ask you. Have you ever been so pissed at your husband that you've literally strangled him? No! I'm pretty sure there have been times where you've wanted to, but... Oh, God. But like but like I said, he goes full on. He doesn't... It's like That's there is I mean, no like, break. He has no break. So quickly, it makes zero sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my like, God. I get that they don't have a lot of time in this movie to do it too gradual. But, like, mm-hmm. it still just escalates way too fast. But that's, but that's a point it of where you cut. It. But here's what they should have done. Instead of having the movie introduce us to Anakin when he's a kid to set up the, full, the whole um, freaking Chosen One bullshit, literally introduce us to when Anakin's already a teenager. Yeah, that way no, I, have- fully, I was completely with that. The prequel should have started... The second movie should have been the like the first movie where we were introduced to these characters. And then you spend the second movie, aka the actual Clone Wars, showing a yeah. gradual thing. Bingo. And then Bingo. you see the final like straw oh, on the oh. back should have been this movie. Can can we also just take a second to admire the idiocy of that line? Only a Sith deals in absolutes. That's an absolute, you moron. Oh. Although I do gotta say I hate this fight because they're moving so fast. There is a music video um on YouTube that literally took this fight and just slowed it down, and it is so much more powerful than watching these two fight at this speed. Seriously, it bugs me to no end. Like they've only been gone for like a day, like apart for a day, and Anakin's already forgotten Everything. what it means to have friends. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh! I mean, like I've said, I've had—I mean, I've had friends who have wanted to pit sometimes. I've never been to the point where I wanted to kill one of them. No. And, no. Yeah, and Anakin has apparently gone so far that he's willing to not only kill a bunch of his own friends, he's willing to literally strangle his own wife. Oh. And Yoda apparently doesn't see this coming, even though how do you not? <laughs> Oh, seriously, that bugs me to know. It's like Yoda, you shouldn't be seeing the. You should know who you're confronting. Yeah, seriously, and you go in just completely le- haphazard. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And that blue guy is like, okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. I don't wanna be here. <laughs> yeah. Little Aren't the red guys his guards? Did Mace Windu kill them? I'm so no. confused by this. Did no, he kill Yoda the red guys? Really threw him into the wall. You think Mace Windu would have killed yeah, them? Yeah, that's why I'm confused as to why they're dead around the Emperor. Who killed them? Yoda did. They showed. Oh, did Yoda they? Really- Yoda I must have into been the wall. talking to you and missed it. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I, yeah. Like I said, cheese on to the highest factor ever. Ian McDiarmid, all the cheese. Although I do like this scene. I do like this. If so powerful you are, why leave? It's like seriously. It's like yeah. I come on. I thought you were all good and shit. Let's do this. But yeah. Oh, that and I hate I hate it whenever they do this because in reality holding your weapon above your hand is above your head is a really good way to get yourself stabbed. Yeah, because it leaves you wide open. Yeah, it's like here's what you do, Yoda: stab. This fight scene is awful. 
Yeah, it's, this is like, okay, how the hell does this happen? It's like, in here we can see that he's holding onto Obi-Wan's throat with his robot hand to crush it. Uh, this bugs me, because, like, seriously, what? They just apparently can't fist fight at all. Ugh. Oh, they're in the Senate? Wait, where are they? In the Senate, okay. Yeah, uh, in the... Yeah, because apparently Palpatine has an office right underneath the Senate building that, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. We, and just Yoda flipping around like an idiot. Uh, and here, what's the point? What's the point of pinwheeling your lightsaber around? Strike them. Uh. That just looked like a some kind of cheesy romance like love song. I yeah. can't touch you. Yeah. I want you. Yeah, That's well, yeah, it's like it's like the, the two lovers reaching out over the distance type like shit. Yeah. Exactly. Uh. I'm pretty sure you could actually turn... The problem is, a lot of this, you could actually turn into a love song between Anakin and Obi-Wan. <laughs> Just kick him in the face, because why the fuck not? Oh, at least they're using and, the yeah, No, but this is... Here's the part that bugs me. This should have been the entire fight. They shouldn't have even had lightsabers. It should literally just have been Yoda and Sidious literally just throwing these things at each other. It's a good... Wait, no, the Senate... Why is he just... Where is the Senate going to meet now? Yeah, no one knows. But like I said, I think the entire fight should have been them just literally taking these things and chucking them at each other versus them having lightsabers at all. Yeah, it's probably. like, Yoda, why are you spending this? What's the point in spending this? To reverse the polarity. <laughs> <laughs> and then here, it's like, oh yeah, I, okay, I lose my lightsaber easily now. Oh, that's how Yoda yeah, loses okay. his lightsaber and never builds a new one for the next 30 years. Yeah, no doubt. Or just 15 years, I guess. Yeah, uh, however long it is. Woo! Although, what I really don't like about that is Yoda apparently goes flying. Palpatine just gets knocked over. I think they both should have gone flying. Man, this caused her. Ow. Ow. He didn't even try to stop him with the Force. Yeah. Which we see a lot of times in the universe where they literally will... Uh, even in the Clone Wars where Anakin and Ahsoka jump off a little flipping wall that's got to be at least 200 feet tall. But like I was saying earlier, we see Mace Windu get shot for five seconds and then jump, fall to his death, apparently. I don't think Mace Windu is dead. I honestly don't think Mace Windu is dead. I'm pretty sure he just spends the rest of his time in Coruscant no, getting drunk at a bar. Too, but maybe he's not dead. Yeah. Mace Windu. So he just fell out the window. Uh, yeah. Well, because, yeah, because here, because, yeah, because Mace Windu is so shocked for, like, five Every movie, anytime someone has fallen, they've survived. Yeah. If Maul can survive yeah. being cut in half, Mace Windu, Windu can clearly survive losing his hand and falling out of a window. Yeah. Maul but, but like survived. I said, it's like, you see, because here's, because Mace Windu's death is apparently he gets shocked for, like, 15 seconds. And then thrown out a window and falling to his death. But we see Luke get shocked for literally like 15 minutes yeah. and survive. So I don't, I 100% do not buy that Mason Windu's dead. I don't I'm think he's 100% positive he just like, you know, he survived, is like in a course on bar getting drunk. Like, I had all the power of the Jedi, now look at me. Oh, oh man. This part really gets me. It's like, okay, I understand we're trying to kill each other, but at this point, we're just going to, okay, it's like, okay, look, dude, pause, let's get out of here, then we'll kill each other. 
Nah, let's let's risk both yeah, of our lives and finish this now. Yeah, no, I that I that bugs the shit out of me. No, I'm pretty sure a sane person at this point would be like, "All right, I'm done fighting you. I'm just gonna get out of here." Yeah, it's like, dude, let's, it's like, dude, let's, dude, let yeah, momentary pause. The game is on hold. I mean, you know, it's like, dude, we'll, you know, we'll finish this. Don't worry, we'll finish this. But it's halftime right now. Let's let's get out of here first. Then we'll finish this, man. Although then, this also bugs me. It's like these have these little pipes How that only the open can fit through. What is the purpose of those pipes? They're just what, ventilation. What do those pipes do? What is going through those pipes? Ventilation. Drains. Maybe it's for condensation. That's, it's the sewage duct. Why not? No, but the but when it comes to ventilation, the other issue I have with that is um, if it's ventilation. Why is he? Why are you going through there? Ventilation is not the secret escape hatch. It's how you ventilate the freaking building. Well, maybe it's like the secret hatch for when animals get into the ventilation system and you need to get them out again. Yeah. The only thing I could buy is maybe, may, this is again pushing it, is maybe it's a maintenance tunnel for droids. That's the only thing I could buy. But the problem with that is no, we don't yeah, see any droids go to the side. Send a small droid up in there. People don't actually have to fit. Yeah, but oh the God. problem is we, the only idea. droids we see that could fit in there are the Buzz droids, and they are not Republic. So. Yeah, I do not H12, by the way. Yeah. yeah. I'm going over a water, a lava fall, because seriously. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Whee! <laughs> yeah. And How that one like, droid. Their foods would be what melting. Are they? I'm what are they on right now? Like. But this has always bugged me. It's like, what the hell are those droids doing? What are they gathering from the lava? Like, Obi Wan, you could have just force pushed Anakin off the droid as he was coming yeah. at you. Or you couldn't just force the droid to move five feet over. <laughs> And let Anakin flop into the lava. Now, here's the worst part. I have bailed you. And then it was like, they're having two completely different conversations. Seriously. Oh, my God. Again. Like, it's not like they've never seen a Jedi quit before. Yeah. Apparently, there have been at least 20 Jedi that have quit before. Not including Count Dooku. Because even Count Dooku quit being a Jedi before he became evil. And now they're on the same platform because you know, because Obi-Wan apparently doesn't know to put his lightsaber out and let, oh, let him jump into it. Whee! <laughs> Here we go. Now, how many memes have we heard about this? The high ground. I so want, many memes. I, just the dialogue in this movie is so awful. Yeah. Having the high ground in a battle situation is a really good idea, but having a high ground in a one-on-one -on -one fight, not so much. Yeah. And but this is the worst part. Okay. Obi Wan, mercy kill him now. He's, I mean, I get, or you know, look. Him and, like, bring him home. Jesus yeah. Christ. You don't even have to, to kill him. But yeah, it's like, seriously, bring him back to Padme. It's like, dude, seriously. But but still, in this situation, it's like, you're leaving him to die in probably one of the most painful ways possible. Obi-Wan, he was and, like, uh, also, I heard to bring balance to the Force. No one said yeah. that meant destroying the Sith. Yeah. Although, what happened there? Apparently, that was added in post. Apparently, George Lucas forgot that Obi-Wan is supposed to pick up Anakin's lightsaber. And so they had to literally add it in post. Oh, well, Obi-Wan picking up the flipping thing. At what? least he remembered. At least someone did, yeah. But again, it's like, seriously, dude, your buddy is on fire now. Mercy kill him. At this point, you mercy kill him. You well, go like out I and stab him. Just like, dude, put him out of his misery, dude. 
Or, or I don't know, arrest him and make him stand trial for his crimes after you cut well, everything The problem off. is, like, who are they, who's gonna, who are they going to put on trial? You do the only real issue with that, that is if they, if they, if he arrest him, if they arrest him, what's Palpatine going to do? Palpatine's not going to be like, oh, you arrested my buddy. Okay, you no. Palpatine would still kill him. So. Oh, at this point, you have take him into your custody because obviously he's about to like do something. He's got friends because you're okay. You have a point. He can't stand trial for his crimes because Palpatine's in control. But take him into custody anyway on your side and find yeah. another way to deal with it. Like yeah. you don't cut his arms off and then stay and watch him burn. No doubt. Like either cut his arms off and then leave. Don't what I what to... I think should have happened is when we see the thing falling over the um, volcano is I think we should have seen Anakin jump like he did, except he doesn't make it. He doesn't land on a droid. We don't see where he lands. It's like we just see that he falls, and but we don't right. see what happens. And then later we cut to Anakin crawling out of the lava. I mean, like, mind you, that does raise the question of how his lightsaber. Maybe Anakin throws a lightsaber or something. I don't know, but still. But yeah, it's like seriously, I don't think he should have. I don't think Anakin should have made that jump, but he didn't make. He just fell. And the only thing I can think of is maybe he threw his lightsaber out of anger, and then Obi Wan caught it. Or maybe so. like, yeah, like during like something else happened, and he dropped it. Or because like yeah. Obi Wan could have overpowered him and made him drop the lightsaber. Yeah, he's a yeah. fighter, and then could have done something to make him like think he's dead and leave him for dead. Like just yeah, chopping yeah. his legs off in that stupid jump, and then complaining to him as he burns to death. Like yeah, what was that? Yeah. No, but here's the, no here's the absolute one percent worst part that we see coming up here. We see Palpatine, the Sith Lord. The 100% most evil character in this universe. We see him act with more uh, with more care to Anakin than we see anybody else. That right. is my biggest Eight. problem. Zero. Is, we are seeing Palpatine, yeah. the baddest, the literal yeah. devil of this universe, treating Anakin I mean, with more that, tenderness. That Obi Wan was gonna like. The, the fight just the fight between him and Obi Wan made no sense. He never should have been in the position for the Emperor to find him. Yeah. Or he could have been. I just feel like it could have been written better. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Oh, oh, but like I said, but like I said, one hundred percent. What it's like, but seriously, <laughs> how is it that Palpatine, the bad, bad, the big bad of the universe, no, is the only like, one that? Are you talking to your husband? My husband popped in for okay. the last five minutes and thinks yeah. that we're. Well, I see you talking to someone, but I didn't hear him. So. <laughs> I I had to make sure because here's no here's the thing. I see you talking to someone else, but I didn't hear him. So I'm like, okay, either she's losing her mind and this movie has broken her, or her husband showed up, and I was hoping it was your husband. <laughs> but but still, like I said, my that's my biggest complaint. We see more tenderness out of Palpatine than we do anybody else. Well, Palpatine Even Padme. Wants his, uh, he wants his apprentice. He needs to build loyalty there. But still, but still, it's like even real. his wife didn't treat him with that much tenderness and care. Well, he wasn't exactly treating his... He tried to strangle his wife. What kind of tenderness did you want her I'm to give I'm talking about the entire movie. I'm not just talking about in the last 15 minutes. I'm talking the entire movie. She was being caring and loving the whole movie. I don't know. Her scenes were weird. Yeah, no doubt. Not already. But apparently, no one else. Yeah, but she's she's pregnant, which apparently no one noticed. And by the way, she has twins, which even worse. Oh man, it's like, dude, uh, put morphine. You know, give him some morphine or something. Oh my gosh. That I just just imagine. Ugh. I've had burn injuries. They're not fun. They stick you full of morphine so you don't feel what the hell they're doing because it hurts. Oh, 
And here we see, yeah. Look, it's little baby Luke. Yeah, baby Luke. Uh, give her some morphine too, seriously. That's not how that works all the time. I don't know how. I don't know. I've never seen Blooming Game Birth. But apparently the story goes is that the reason Leia remembers is because her eyes were open. The reason Luke doesn't because his eyes weren't open. That's, I guess Leia, as, I mean, since she's force sensitive, she could have felt how yeah. to connect with Mommy. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Though what I do like about this is when we see it, once he actually takes his first breath here in a second, watch the mist above his mouthpiece. Oh, nothing it happened? Actually get blown away. I do like that. Oh, there. I do like that they have that attention to detail of him taking a breath and it actually, you know, blowing the mist away when he exhales. But this, this part also bugs me. It's like, okay, you have two kids and you are saying that you know they're still good in Anakin and you just and you still have lost the will to live. Yeah, I I don't I don't know if losing the will to live is actually a way to die. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if you can lose the will to live and just die. I know well, that people have I mean like that kind of really only happens when you have other severe medical things going on and you don't want to yeah. fight anymore. Not to a perfectly yeah. healthy woman who just gave birth. Unless she had birth complications that they didn't show, which I guess is very possible. No, I mean I know of I know of several kids several situations of people who like, you know, like they're you know, they're a significant other has passed away and then they die out of like a you know because but like I but like you said they have other heart complications so that's what kills them is like just the shock of that you know cause them to have a heart attack or something else to happen but I don't see how her a perfectly healthy woman with no other complications that we see just dying because she lost it I don't get it especially when she says she still believes there's good there's good in him Oh, I should also point out, apparently, when they first filmed that scene, Ankin's arms were up like this. And then, oh, yeah. they, and then someone had to explain to George, like, um, by the way, we don't want the symbolism of that. So let's, so they brought it down. Which is why, if you actually look, his arms move really wonkily when he pulls them free. It was very frank pulled- of him coming off that table there. Yeah. To be fair, he got his legs. Yeah, I know. Ramble. No, I, yeah. I did like how I did like how he kind of stumbles a little and gets off the table because these are new limbs. He's never walked on them before. It's, he's not going to be used to them at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this part does bug me. It's like. Even, okay, imagine you, even if you've had your conversations with your husband about adopting a child, how would you feel about him just showing up and, by, oh, by the way, we adopted a kid? I don't buy that. <coughs> I mean, if they've I, been desperate, desperate and they've been trying, and your husband yeah. comes, and my husband came home and was like, hey, my good friend just died in childbirth. Yeah. They had a son that's going to be a Jedi. I'd be like, I get, yeah, I'll take care of my best friend's kid. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, what I think they should have done is we should see Bail Organa's wife here. We should see Bail Organa's wife throughout the series. That way, that way, it makes sense of okay, we'll take the girl. <laughs> Although that doesn't raise the, that doesn't answer the question of I don't think that's that that's that's your dog. Yeah, he's growling out in the other room. Wow. Yeah, and here's it's like okay, have yes. the protocol droid's wife, but not R2D2. Yes, R2D2 knows everything, which just raises so many questions not about right. when we get later. It's like you think you think uh, R2D2 would have been when we saw Luke and Leia, like, okay, first off, no kissing. Let me tell you why. <laughs> R2-D2 could have saved so many problems if he just said, okay, look, first off, you two, let's talk. 
And here we see Jar Jar's only true shot in the freaking movie, which thank God he was cut. But look, she still looks pregnant, so no one knows that she yeah, actually she still looks pregnant. No, I just really, yeah. And look the, at the new oh queen. My God, that is that makeup is horrible. This, this queen's makeup there was worse. And this here, um, I don't know. Of her holding that thing that he made for her in episode one, I, I don't know. I don't buy it. Oh my gosh. And we see the Death Star already well under construction, which I don't know how that fits up with Solo, but hey. I don't think the Death Star should have been this far. Yeah, I don't think it should be this far along, considering. No, because it, in the three years between episodes four, or, oh my God, five and six, like they have a lot more done. And that's only, granted, it's already been designed, but like them being this far along doesn't really match up with anything else. Like it doesn't match up with Rebels, it doesn't yeah. match up with Rogue One. Mm -hmm. With soul, yeah, none of none of it adds up. So, it be fair, all I, have I don't know. Yeah, but that's still a lot of planning that went into it, and then like everything else. Well, it's like how Here's how thing, even if you have that much framing done, that's still a lot of material that they would have had to have gathered. How did no one notice that? Well, let me just put it this way. How often does America launch a brand new aircraft carrier and how long does it take them to build? The answer is not two years. The next one of the next aircraft carriers we built, Force Miller, it's only barely begun construction. It's not gonna be up and running until two thousand like two thousand twenty-nine. So. I guess. Did they start making the second one then before the first one was finished? No. The, the Death Star? <laughs> That's a good point too. They, the first one's completely exploded. Hmm. They make a whole new Wait. one for the episode six. Yeah. 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 How how much time passes between episode four and episode six though? Epi there's three years between episodes four and five, and one or three years before episodes five and six. So they somehow build a so new Death Star in four years. Ah oh, man, I don't buy that at all. Four and six. No, I just Googled Star this, and I've been Googling this constantly for the past two weeks as I watch Clone no, absolutely. Wars. Absolutely, the Death Star shouldn't be... Jesus Christ, because you went more in depth than I did! Well, wasn't oh, this before? my gosh. What, before what? This was before whatever it was. Rebels right? takes place 15 years after this. I'm saying... Okay, sorry. I have too much going on right now. What I'm saying is this was made before... Any of the cartoons. Yes. So he just wants to show the Death Star because he didn't think they were going to do. No, and that's most of the point is that he does this stuff without actually thinking of how the story can go from here. That was clear with the discrepancies between the prequels and episode four. Yes. There you go. He had some idea of what he wanted to do, but didn't think it all the way through, which is why it doesn't quite match up. Yeah. He hit, he basically know he knows he wants to go to point B, but the problem is he doesn't know how to get to point B. Yeah, so a lot of the details end up not working out all that well. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that was episode three, which again we're not doing this in order of of production. We're doing this in order of which ones we hate the most. So, oh, they even got Peter Mayhew back. Yeah, for Chewbacca. Oh I didn't know they brought him back. I knew they brought everybody else back. I didn't know they brought back Ken Peter Mayhew. I oh my god, I should have been. Oh man, I'm a I'm a bad fan. Yeah, Peter Mayhew's oh. played Chewbacca every time. I know he played him in the originals and and um and other productions. I didn't know he played him in this. I thought he was too because Peter Mayhew when he was getting older he had problems literally standing, so he had to use a cane a lot. So I didn't yeah. know I I didn't know he because I thought he was too far along that he couldn't actually walk anymore. So, oh, which, well, I yeah. mean, Chewbacca looks CGI'd more often than not in yeah. this one with all the rest of the Wookiees. So, who knows how much they actually used Peter? Yeah, so that's I'll give you that. So, 
But yeah, okay, so that was Revenge of the Sith, and like I said, we're not doing this in order of how premiere were made, we're doing this in order of worst to best. So next week, we're going to do the next worst movement, which I think we both agree is The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, but I think it would be worth it to do The Last Jedi first. You want to do The Last Jedi first? Yeah. We can do that. No worries. Because, I mean, still, I mean, when it comes to which one's worse, The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker are pretty dang close. Yeah. So, but a lot of yeah, my we can, we can do that. Last, or about The Rise of Skywalker have to do with The Last Jedi. So I think it makes sense to do The Last Jedi yeah, first. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do The Last Jedi the first then. But still, but like I said, when it comes to which one's worse, it's not there's like a- the it's not like the Rise of Skywalker is much better. It's like, oh, it's there. <laughs> So, and like I said, the only reason I think The Rise of Skywalker is better than The Last Jedi is in The Rise of Skywalker, there's a jet that, you know, he go, okay, we're going this direction, so they go that direction, versus The Last Jedi is, I don't know where we're going, we're just driving, in my opinion, anyway. So. Yeah, but to be fair, I don't know if the direction that Abrams was going in was where it should have gone to begin with. So Ryan was trying, again... My problem with that trilogy is that there was no overall direction given. It was each Boom. director for themselves. Boom. 100% right there. That is pretty much, no, my review of The Rise of Skywalker, right there in a nutshell. Boom. Perfect. That that's, is literally that's my, my review. Problem. Exactly. So, yeah, no, that, like I said, that is literally my review of the, of the, of the entire sequel trilogy in general is right there. They didn't have an overarching plan of what the hell they're going to do. Yep. It was really just, let's throw shit at the wall. Yep. Every so. director for themselves, no one to make sure that they had an overall view they were trying to accomplish. Yep. Yep. 100%. So, yeah. And, oh, nope. We'll get into that when we watch those movies. Yeah. So, yeah. So, again, that was the Revenge of the Sith. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't followed my channel, my channel is Saber Sagas, so please look it up. Uh, do you have a face, or is it yours just on Instagram? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. All right, whatever. I, if you're allowed to, plug your own channel if you want. So. Nah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the Revenge of the Sith. Thanks, everybody. Bye.